Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are now in the month of February and it's the love month. I missed to make a video last January due to hectic family life as usual. Um, you know, everyone just, we just ended the holidays and then we went on a short vacation before the school started and then adjusted the kids again for, you know, going back to school, blah, blah, blah. So it was very hectic and time just flew by anyways i'm back and i do have few unboxings that i will be uh doing with you guys which is maybe in the next few weeks or next few days when i get a chance but right now the video that i am doing or presenting to you guys would be the most used handbags in 2022 i do have um eight handbags in uh in 2022 that i rotated and used very often and uh and i i really love all these handbags so i would like to show them to you i haven't i believe um most of them you haven't seen them as these are my current uh, handbag collections prior to my unboxings in 2022 Anyway, without further ado, let's start this video. So the first handbag that I used early last year is the Neo Noe BB from Louis Vuitton. This is made in um, epi leather and it is a multicolor um, handbag, which I feel like it's very versatile. Um, you can use it with uh, different colored clothing or you can match it with your sandals or shoes since it has like multiple colors you can use it with the blacks with the blues reds or um with a, a mustard brown color you know sandals or shoes um this a handbag um i've had this since 2019 and i've been using it you know yearly and uh ever since but it's just not the whole year but usually it's the early part of um the year i love using it during the months of february because of this red accent you know it had the drawstring is red as well as the side of the um handbag it has this red accent here so um um it has these uh handle here you can use it as a top handle you can also use it as a strap and you can use it also since this strap is adjustable you can definitely use it as a cross body bag um, for the wear and tear of this bag just the outside part for four years almost four years i feel like it has worn really good um, i don't see any issues on the top handle strap nor the long strap there are no issues as well and because they're um removable you can remove you know either one of them if you don't really use them so you don't worn them out and this bag is very uh, like feel like this is a very subtle bag it doesn't really scream as louis vuitton um you know to other people it just have this subtle embossed uh, lv logo and here it shows here on the grommets has the louis vuitton and also as well on the handle and also on the side it has louis vuitton paris and uh for four years of using this i do see i do see that it has some scuffs you know on the bottom side bottom of the bag uh i think uh the color came off the leather color came off and maybe I should bring this to Louis Vuitton. Maybe they can be able to repair it for me. Um, it, this doesn't come with a, with a feet. But it's still good because it doesn't really, you know, trip or fall because it's sturdy. And it's, it's very, um, it's a structured uh, handbag. So let's see what's inside the bag. Or not what's inside the bag. What's in the bag inside. Um... There is, since it's a little dark, I'm using my flashlight. So you can see here, um, it, it's a, the lining is a velvety 
uh, textured lining. It's very, very luxurious. I love it. And the blue inside looks really stunning. Um, it doesn't have any, any um, pockets inside, like on the side of the bag. But as you can see, it has two compartments. Seems like there's two compartments because in the middle of the bag, it actually has a pocket that serves like a division or, you know, like a compartment. It's dividing two, two spaces and which is very, uh, you know, functional because since this, this handbag is not too secured, you know, because even though there's a drawstring, it doesn't really go all the way. So, um, you know, someone can always get something from your bag. I don't know. But if you go to places that you feel that it's not too safe, there is a way of still able to securely have your valuables uh, not being seen or not being taken away from your bag. So there is a pocket here that has a button that you can lock it. And uh, this is like a secret pocket that you can put your credit cards, um, your IDs, and even your jewelries that no one can see it so it's a lovely bag it's very beautiful i love the leather i love the lining inside i love the straps that it's you know very um versatile and you can even use it with your other handbags so with the wear and tear it's fabulous still i don't mind it has all these um uh wear here but i feel like they still look so beautiful in 2019 when my husband bought this for me at the time this only retails to 1940 actually i have the receipt here um this was inside the bag i usually put my receipts inside the bag so i can see how much i paid for them and when i bought them you know at the time when 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 what is the date that i bought this particular bag and how much was it so anyway it was at 1940 at the time plus tax so it was around 2000 i did see um lately or currently uh it's being retailed at 2300 so it has increased a little bit and i think that you know it's worth to buy this bag if you're into bucket bags because they're very durable and um it's very versatile and it's multicolored that you can use you know with a lot of uh, a lot of your shoes and sandals so this is the first handbag that I used or in rotation in the early part of 2022. The second handbag that is in rotation in 2022 are my, I consider this one handbag since it's the same luxury brand. Uh, it's just two different colors. This is uh, the Goyard St. Louis PM. It, this is the small um size and i have these two for um during i'm sorry during the months of um march uh from march to end of summer because these two handbags i feel like they're spring and summer looking bags which also matches you know my clothing during the, those two seasons and i feel like these bags are very um functional for me and for my lifestyle too um this is a uh, made of canvas goyardine canvas these two handbags are extremely light so you can actually just put you know a lot all, all of your kitchen sink whatever is your in your kitchen you could put everything here literally that's what i did when my kids were two kids were a little smaller uh i have three kids but early on this one here i bought this more than 10 years ago and um, this was uh, the bag that I used so much together with my um, first Goyard handbag uh, also um, I used this both of these um, when my kids were a little younger my two older kids were a little younger um, these were actually this is where I put all their food their toys and uh, even uh, you know some juices and water so i use this uh, so much and i i really love this handbag it's very durable um and it's also good looking handbags so um these two are very lightweight 
and uh, I know I work from home now but these two uh, I also use this um, to carry my um, laptop during you know during the months of uh, you know summer and spring uh, if I needed to go somewhere and I need to bring my laptop with me so it's so I can work you know somewhere that I don't have to be at home I do use this um, re um, handbags for my remote uh, working you know situation so um, this handbag um, it has this leather handle the handles are not too um, too long and which really uh, for me it uh, it really fits my uh, size as well because I'm a little petite and I'm petite not just little little I'm petite and lightweight um, my arms are not too big in a way so there you know I know people are complaining that it's not too long but it just fits me you know right I don't have any issues with it also uh, because I am petite this is the weight of this handbag it doesn't you know it, it's, it still seems like it doesn't have any weight so you can I can put uh, so many stuff in here without me you know having any back aches or any shoulder issues because the handbag itself is already very light and um, what else this handbag um, these two handbags um, comes with a pouch you know it comes with a pouch with the price at the time when I bought this um, see I even have my the tag here still at the time 10 years ago they didn't have any goyard boutique in los angeles so i was just going to barney's uh to buy if, if i need to buy um a goyard brand uh, handbag so at that time it was only a thousand forty five when i bought this so um when i bought this i already had my never full but i thought my never full didn't have a pouch that came with it the original classic never full never full it only had like a pocket inside so it didn't have didn't come with a pouch so for me this was a big bonus i have a you know aside from a bag i already have a slg as well um and plus the never full i also wore that a lot with my black goyard as a rotation for my as an office bag but i feel like that one is a little too heavy for, a little heavy for me and it was deeper for me and it's hard to maintain a little bit because of the the leather uh you know line uh trimming so i and it wasn't the same color so i that's why i have this you know uh, the goyard um handbag as you know as an alternate for um, my um tote bag and as you can see i don't i did not or i do not use any um organizer or insert for this uh, tote uh, the reason being is i love it you know the look or the style of you know if you have stuff here that it's slouchy um, i don't mind it i feel like that is the look that should be for that bag because originally this bag was designed as a beach bag and you know when you go to the beach you have all your stuff there you don't really need a lining or an organizer i think um so this bag is supposedly reversible and i never use it as a reversible i only use this this uh, side of the bag and uh, even though i did not use any organizer or insert uh it was easier for me to locate all the stuff that i put in here because uh it has a light uh lining here which is uh also a canvas type of lining and uh with all the stuff that I put in here when the kids were uh, younger, the food, the toys, the juices that spilled, I feel like, you know, um, I enjoy my handbag. It's not just me. It's also for my family. So if it does have a stain, well, just be it because you know what? That's actually a love stain. It's a remembrance that this handbag was there for me during those really super busy times. So these are the two handbags that I used during our totes type of handbag that I used for the months of uh, the summer and spring months in 2022. Um, and that's it. Uh, Goyard at the time, I used a, this is 1045 and 
when I bought this last year, because, you know, I felt like, okay, now I really need a new Goyard handbag. Um, so I've opted this color for, you know, for Easter. <laughs> I think that's what I thought. So last year, I think um, I bought this for $16.40. The, the, the receipt of this handbag, I think, is on the other handbag that I also have. Because I have also another Goyard handbag that is part of this video. So that's it. These are the two ones that I use in spring and summer. So the third handbag that was in rotation last year is, since I love Goyard so much, I also used this Goyard um, handbag. Um, this is the Belvedere PM bag and this is um, made of, it has, I'm sorry, made of a Goyard, um, Goyardine canvas. And it has this leather here on the strap and also on the side or bottom of the bag. Um, this one, I bought this last year. Um, uh, same, same time as the blue tote, the St. Louis PM blue tote. It was the same time that I bought this handbag. And the reason why I love this handbag because um, this is also a versatile handbag and fits again my lifestyle and very it's you know it's it 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 helps me whatever I have you know have to do with my kids so this is mainly I use this as a crossbody bag the strap is a little long but it's just you know it's not uh, for me it's just the right length for me I don't have really issues really any issues but I did put the, you know, the last hole because that was the shortest and, you know, it, it just fits me. And uh, this handbag, even though it has leather here, it is very still uh, light. I don't, uh, I don't feel that it is, uh, it is um, a heavy bag. So when I am using this handbag, it's cross body all the time, but definitely if you're a taller person, you can use this as a uh, shoulder bag. Shoulder bag, it will be too long for me. So this uh, handbag has a pocket, you know, um, on the at the back of the handbag that you can put your receipts here, which is, I have it here. I'm sure this is the receipt of this handbag. And this is how you lock it with the leather trim. And let's see inside. Again, I don't have... I did not use or I don't have any uh, lining or I'm sorry lining insert or um, organizer for this handbag because I feel like you know um, there is a, a s s pockets here that you can already organize your stuff and even though this is uh, not big of big large ba bag but it actually holds so much you can actually put a lot of uh, stuff inside so this part here of the bag it's still leather however inside of the bag it has this fabric which i think it's a very easy going fabric uh, most likely if you have any stain or some liquid i think you can just um, wipe it off and it will come off but i have a feeling i won't be able <laughs> i won't be staining this bag just like my other bags because I won't be able to fit any of my kids stuff here so it would just be mainly my my uh, personal you know uh, stuff um, so it has a pocket here that you can put receipts or cards or whatever and it has so you can see here there's two pockets here that I usually use this pocket I usually use I put my car keys or house key and high house keys and here, this part here, I put my um, lipsticks or knickknacks or let's say uh, a hair tie. I put it here. So there's a lot of organization already inside this bag. And it holds a lot too. I can put maybe um, two phones. I can even put like, you know, a not, not so small wallet since it is a little, um, you know, a little deep. So there's stuff that you can be able to put in here. Uh, more stuff I think compared to a mini rectangular or a mini uh, Chanel bags so this is very functional handbag for me as well 
and uh, closing it it's not too hard you know when you're standing up it's easy and it's very durable i've had this for a year and i use this mostly in the months of uh from march to august as well but with the color you can also definitely use this for for um fall or um even for winter but uh, i gravitate in using this bag usually during summer and um spring months you can just wear white and you can wear your oran sandals with this handbag matches really well the color of the leather so it looks really good and uh what else so this bag um i know they already had a price increase this bag i bought this last year and this bag was priced at uh 21 i don't know if you can see it 2140 um and the uh tote bag the blue one was 1605 so this is around two grand and i feel like it's uh worth it the price is good this is a i feel like uh, goyard is a very uh durable and good quality um they produce good quality handbags and uh it fits my lifestyle and i don't mind with the price as long as i know that i can be able to use this handbag years and years so with the wear and tear for a year not a year but you know a few months of using it constantly uh i don't see any scuffs ever here nothing no cracking on the leather as well so it's wearing good you know i don't have any issues um for now with this handbag and i'm really loving it so the fourth handbag that I used in rotation last year is my pochette accessoire. This handbag is my first ever luxury handbag. Um, I was so smitten with this handbag uh, when you know when I bought this. And would you believe this is this handbag was bought in two thousand two. So this is now twenty year a twenty year old bag and um, i still love it um it is uh very uh it is very durable for me and uh, i don't see um i don't see any wear and tear of this handbag except for there's just a little tarnishing here on the zipper part but for the canvas part outside there is no wear and tear um, I know that this is uh, made in USA and people say that if it's made in USA, it's usually not good quality, but I don't have any issues with it for 20 years. And um, this is not the original strap. The original strap is this one here. It's the, it's the shorter strap. And this strap, I never sprayed this with Apple Guard. I know people right now or recently has been doing it spraying with apple guard so they make sure that the, the vachetta leather uh is, doesn't have any stain or it's going to be protected from rain or for, you know for any liquid stuff but i never ever um sprayed this and look how it 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 has become it is it patinaed really well it aged really well and uh even the gold uh part of the you know this one here it never really um you know change it doesn't have any tarnishings so the <clears throat> the quality is really good for a 20 year old handbag um yeah we still have this one here um <clears throat> this bag um since this is like a vintage this is the original vintage uh pochette accessoire at that time inside it only has this one large compartment and um it doesn't have any pockets so it's just have the compartment with the brown lining fabric lining and that's it there's nothing else so um i decided to buy this bag 20 years ago because i wanted something light um they can take it with me i didn't have any kids yet so i would you know it's good to wear during the daytime and also for the nighttime without having to hurt your shoulders because it's a light bag as well um 
this one here i just thought about using the strap this strap i bought this uh, uh i think when i had started having kids i felt like you know um this is originally um i bought this this is from louis vuitton as well this strap uh i only bought this for 175 dollars i think um I think more than 10 years ago, I bought this for my Speedy 25 because the Speedy 25 that I had was the original one, the classic one that didn't have the strap. It was not uh, the new um, Speedies that had the strap, the band uh, bandolier um, design. It didn't have that. So when I saw that people started having this new design, so I thought about, okay, let me just, instead of buying a new, uh, another bag, a Speedy, I decided to just buy this strap. But I didn't really use it that much because, you know, I felt like uh, the Speedy wasn't really working for me as a crossbody. It was more like a top handle bag for me. So that's why I didn't really use it. And then I decided to use it with my pochette as a swa since I needed some you know my hands to be free when i am with the kids so i don't have to you know worry about my handbag and uh, would you believe at the time when i bought this 20 years ago this was only priced at 210 dollars but for me at the time it was very very expensive but i realized and i thought you know what um i re i deserve this i really love this handbag i worked hard for it so I'll buy it and I'll enjoy it. So until now, I'm still enjoying it. There was actually one point that I had my daughter um, use this. Um, she was using it when we we're going to church or we we're going to parties, but she wasn't really into handbags, so she gave it back to me. And now I'm using it again. So I did use this a lot last year um, during the months of uh, summer and spring months. And I even brought this when we went to... We went, uh, uh, to Florida um, our summer vacation um, spot and I was very happy using it because it's so lightweight and I can take a lot of stuff inside your phone your your you know small leather goods your whatever knickknacks and everything you have you can I can put my sunglasses without any issues uh, although you don't want to over you know over stack everything then it's gonna look doesn't look good anymore um, I do have this. I bought this, I think, uh, a few months after I bought this pochette accessoire to match, you know, to match the bag. And it's also slim. So I feel like, okay, this is the wallet that I should be using for this handbag. So even for, uh, even after 20 years, I'm still using this handbag as part of my rotation of handbags. And that is the fourth handbag that I used in 2022. The fifth handbag that I most used last year is my YSL Lou Camera bag and this is in calfskin leather and it has the aged gold hardware and this is the color of this handbag is in dark beige. Um, this handbag I bought this in 2020 and this was on sale. This was uh, actually uh, I bought this at Saks uh, online website and um, I believe uh, there had there was a 10% discount this was with a thousand dollars they priced it at a thousand dollars a long time ago and um, there was a 10% off I think or 15% off if you sign up if you're a new customer so I got a 10% off and I believe uh, I got this for, I still have the receipt here, I think. Yes, I still have the receipt, as usual. So I got this for $990 for shipping and handling and tax. So it came out to $1,072. I think right now this is now $1,400 or $1,500. I'm not sure. But this bag is also very, very um, durable. Um, so far, um, it's been almost four years I got, since I got this, or three years, sorry, got this. And, uh, I don't see any color transfer. There is no wear and tear or any scuffs 
at the bottom of the bag or the side of the bag. Even the handle, the handles is good. Um, um, the I was actually not too sure when I got this one. I was scared about the handle or the strap because my um, I had a YSL tote bag and the strap of the handle was it wore really the wear and tear was really bad it had a lot of the leather was um you know not doing well it was it was bad so i just took the risk um i said you know what let me try this handbag let me see hopefully it will wear really good um so so far for almost three years this is you know it's doing really well the strap is adjustable although it's not removable but it is adjustable however because i'm short and petite i had to uh, add more holes using a you know a handbag strap whole whole uh, equipment and i did it myself since in 2020 everything was closed the stores you know a lot of businesses were closed at that time so i just did it myself and i was able to um, adjust it to the desired length that I like uh, it has this tassel here it is kind of cumbersome for others and for me as well but since I feel like you know it's part of the design I didn't want to take it so it still looks good even though sometimes it does bother me but it's still okay the only issue that I have with this bag is because it pops this one here the zipper part here pops up Although the zipper is still very nice, but since I got this bag, I think after I don't know a few use, I think it's like this. It pops up and I doesn't bother me. Bother me, so it's okay with me. Uh, it, again, this also I don't even use. I don't also use any insert to this bag. This actually has this fiber inside. It's not leather inside but it's still you know still nice feel inside it says here saint laurent paris and it only has this one zip uh and not zip but uh, a pocket here um it has this one here i still have i think this is the the cloth that you can clean it with and i know it has the um this stuff here that it says dark beige where is that anyway um so this is the the fifth most used handbag in 2022 and i love it i love the color it's very neutral so i can use it in you know a lot of a lot of my outfits without any issues and it also looks good of course on camera but it's also very versatile and it holds a lot of your items not just your essentials it can hold more than that since it is a little larger inside and it can stretch out so it's a very nice cushiony bag and i love the feel as well and it's very luxurious and i'm surprised that you know at least this one um holds really good and also the wear and tear it's not disappointing i'm happy with the wear so my sixth most used handbag is my chanel mini rectangular flat bag I bought this bag uh, a year ago and I did an unboxing. This is my first ever handbag that I unboxed here in YouTube in my channel. And I, I um, unboxed this I think seven months ago and I've been loving this handbag. I don't have any issues. This is very reliable. I use this during nighttime, uh, even daytime uh, for sure. Daytime as well when you have like I wear like a white um dress or white clothing and then i want to accent with the black um you know shoes or handbag this is the handbag that i usually um wear and i use this during um you know like dinner nights with my kids when we go out in a little fancier restaurant or even just not too fancy restaurant i also use this uh this is made of a lambskin and this is a in a champagne gold hardware so as you can see it's been more than seven months that i used this handbag and i don't see any wear and tear in any part of the outside of the bag even at the back and it has this mona lisa 
pocket which I use mostly for my hair ties and it has this turn lock Chanel turn lock and if you open it it's just have this one big compartment I do not use any insert again or a bag organizer for this I did buy an insert however um, it was too thick so I realized it's occupying more space in the bag so if I want to make use of the space of the bag I have to take it out so I can you know be able to put all most of my essentials which is my phone um, credit card holder coin purse um, sanitizer lipsticks and even my sunglasses so as you can see it has this ziploc pocket here and it also has this pocket here so you can make use of all these pockets and i um this is oh here is that um adjust uh, here's that lock or or this adjusting um this item that adjusts the strap that helps adjust the strap and be able to you know uh, be able to um, adjust it according to your height or whatever you want it how how long you want to be so this is this was uh, in 2022 c um season and I bought this for 4400 So like I said, I put all my, you know, the tags or receipts here in the bag. So I know when I bought this handbag. So overall, this handbag is very reliable. I love this handbag. It's very attractive. And um, it's lovely. It's gorgeous. I can't say I don't have any downside or cons regarding this handbag. It's all about loving this handbag. And that is my sixth most used handbag. My seventh most used handbag. It's another Chanel handbag. And I know you guys have already seen this in one of my unboxing videos. This is my medium classic flat bag in gold hardware. This is also very, very versatile handbag. I can use this during the day, use it during the night. And it holds more than, of course, the mini rectangular. If I, you know, if I do use it, if I need to use something a little bigger for that day or for that night, this is the bag that I turn to. And I believe um, I unboxed this or bought this around August of last year. And since then, I use this during, usually during the weekends when we go to church, you know, or even if you go to, you know, nighttime, you know, also nighttime dinners you know fancy dinners or not so fancy dinners with my family or my husband or with friends i do use this as well so this is uh this is of course a bigger bag handbag compared to my to my mini rectangular and it holds more and this is in caviar leather which is very very durable again for the last few months since august that i used this I don't see any, 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 any wear and tear on any of the edges, any, you know, at the bottom, on the side of the handbag, nothing. Uh, I do take care of my expensive handbags, even not so expensive. I do make sure that I take care of them. So I don't have any tarnishings here. This is in aged gold, and it's really like gold, gold compared to my uh, mini rectangular, which is a champagne, which is a lighter gold. This one is like dark gold and I really love it as well. Um, so as you can see, it has all the caviar leather. There is no wear and tear here as well. Um, same as here. I do use um, an insert for this handbag. Uh, it has a burgundy leather and I also ordered the burgundy um, insert, which is from, I think this is from Zumoni. And I've been using this, and it holds, of course, more than what my mini rectangular. So I enjoyed this bag so much, and um, I've been loving it. And for sure, this is going to stay in my collection forever. I don't have any issues with it. And, okay, have, let me show you. Sorry, let me show you the inside again. So it does have this. If you want to see more, you can see it. Uh, see my um, unboxing for this handbag. Um, 
around August of last year. So this is part of my gift for myself in uh, last year. So it has the burgundy, burgundy leather inside. It has these two pockets here with, I think this is for lipstick pocket, which I don't really use. And that's it. And it has this plaque here as authenticity since they no longer use those um, card. And this is the, the style. This is says here revolving because since it's a classic handbag and uh, I bought this. Oh, where's the amount? Oh, here. So last year it was 8800 Hopefully no more increases from them. But anyway, that that's it. This is also one of my used handbags. So, and um, I enjoyed this handbag so much and loving it as well. So this is the seventh handbag that I mostly use in 20, sorry, 20, 2022. So my most used, most most used handbag in 2022. And as I mentioned, I am, you know, I've used like eight handbags in 2022 that, you know, I feel like I was really rotating them a lot. But this is the one that was really, I was really rotating a lot the most. And this is my Chanel flap bag. Um, I don't remember, I don't recall the name or the style of this handbag. Um, I bought this more than 10 years ago. I bought this in 2012. And uh, at the time, um, I remember, as far as I remember, I did buy my first medium flap bag um, the same year, but I returned it because I felt like, again, I mentioned that I felt like it was too, like, uh, adult for me. So I returned that one and replaced it with this handbag, which I enjoyed for years and years. This is in caviar leather. And as you can see, it's very um, subtle. It has this, only has this um, embossed um, Chanel logo. And it's in caviar leather. And it's in a white gold um, hardware. As you can see, for 12 years, 12 years, more than 12 years, look. I don't see any scuffs, okay? No scuffs. Even the cushion is still you know it's still not flat and this is the bottom of the bag i do have a little one here but you know i think i just needed to clean this but there is no scuffs at all nothing at all nothing even at the bottom at the back although this one doesn't have any um pocket here but i don't think so this is a mini rectangular this is a seasonal bag when i bought this so i don't really recall i remember there was another color I think there was a blue or maroon that um, that I was, there was like three other colors that I saw, but I love this black one. Um, so as you can see also, it has this grommets here. It has four grommets. So definitely you'll be able to adjust this uh, the strap without any issues. Um, it's a little bit tricky when you do, um, when you adjust the strap because it has this thing here that's stopping it. But everything else, it has this magnetic lock. I don't really see any, I'm sorry, this is for 12 years of, do, of using it. I use this almost every day. If, uh, every day uh, last year. Uh, meaning to say, um, when there are days that I don't use those other bags, this is the bag that I used. Even this year, early this is, which is still winter, I use this bag. Uh, the stitchings, look at the stitchings. Nothing came off, nothing ever. I haven't seen anything. And I don't baby this bag. I don't. Because I feel like, you know, I've had this for 12 years and I'm sure it's, it's going to be durable. So... I don't even use in any insert of this bag. It's not leather. Uh, it's not leather. It's not leather inside. It's just fabric. It's a black fabric. But part of here, it's leather. I even still have the stickers here. See, it still has the blue stickers. But 
um, I don't see any tarnishings on, 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 you know, on the metal. So it still looks really, really good. It is almost the same, um, you know, size as a mini rectangular, I think, or this is in between, but let me see. Well, definitely not. It's bigger than mini rectangular. So I, this can hold so much, so much more than your phone, more than your essentials. So it also has a zip pocket here and also a pocket here. Um, it still has the authenticity card, you know. This is the authenticity card um, beef a long time ago. And I also bought it in the same boutique where I buy all my Chanel, um, uh, Chanel items. So at that time, this was... 2100 I don't want to get this because I don't want to ruin it but at the time it was 2100 when I bought this and uh, yep this is uh, it even still has a care booklet I think yeah it still has a care booklet see how old it is so it still has this and I never took it out so this holds a lot of my items, a lot of the stuff, my sunglasses, even a sunglass case, nothing, nothing. Uh, there is no con regarding this handbag. This is my most used, reliable handbag ever and very durable as well. Even the straps, can you believe the straps still looks really, really good. I, um, I love the, the silver strap as well. This is the only Chanel bag that's in silver and you know it's it it has done so much to me and even to my kids when they were younger i also used this there were times that my kids would actually s sit on this handbag and i don't have any issues look you can even squish it when i go on vacation i bring this and you know when i take it out from the luggage it just pops up easily it doesn't you know it's it doesn't have any issues so let me uh, show you how it can adjust this i know i adjust the strap here it's just a little bit tricky because of this lock part here but um you can turn this into a shoulder bag so it is look it looks so nice with the two straps like that and you can also do a single as a crossbody and it it lands really well in my body it's not too long for me so i don't really need to adjust anything so that's it thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate your presence if you have any questions don't forget to write them below and if you like this type of content please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And thank you again and happy new year again and happy Valentine's in advance. Thank you and have a great one, everyone. Bye-bye.